Hey, this is Kyle with Paul C. Buff, and today we're here with Patrick, and we're gonna be working on a fun setup, which will be adding a little bit of color to your Rembrandt lighting. So for this setup, we have three lights. Our key light is gonna be a silver interior foldable beauty dish with a grid. We've got two hair lights, and those are 10 by 36 inch strip boxes. Both of those are gonna have a gel dome in there. Right now, we've got a pink on the left and a red on the right. And as a backdrop, we are using a V-flat from V-flat World. So Patrick is very tall. So one of our handy tools today is gonna to be a ladder. We're gonna use the Paul C. Buff app to control our lights. And we're gonna start by turning on our hair lights. We're going to frame those up and make sure we like the way they are landing on Patrick. So if you take a look, we have the sides of his face slightly illuminated, mostly creating a rim around the hair and ears. So now we're gonna work in our key light. We're a little bit cold, so I'm gonna put a color correcting gel dome on there. And we are going to adjust our light a little bit to emphasize the triangle a little bit more to get us a little bit closer to a classic Rembrandt. So now we've adjusted with one of our color correcting gel domes and we are going to take another shot. So as you can see, we're getting a warmer skin tone, but now we need to adjust so that we have the triangle hitting directly under his eye. So if you're having trouble seeing where the light is falling on your model, the great thing about having ultra bright modeling lamps are if you dim your ambient light, you can use these modeling lights to see where the light is falling in real time. So now we can kind of see where we have the triangle under Patrick's eye, but what we're going to do is we're going to have him turn his face a little bit this way, a little bit less. Perfect. And now you can see right here, meeting the eye, that classic Rembrandt triangle. So now we've added some color to our classic Rembrandt using a couple of color gel domes and some strip boxes for a nice colorful rim light. So what we've done now is we have swapped in a teal gel dome onto our key light and we have now made both of our rim lights red. So now you can see we've got this triangle under his eye very similar to a classic Rembrandt. We've got that teal dome, very dramatic, and then with our two reds we've got an even more dramatic rim light. Ooh, I like it. I like yeah. it. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. Huge thanks to Patrick Marquette for modeling today. Be sure to follow him on Instagram, uh, link in bio. If you uh, enjoyed, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more content.